Representatives representing Chikun Kajuru Federal Constituency in Kaduna State, Honorable Ekene Adams, has assured residents of the government's readiness to tackle banditry, kidnapping, and other challenges confronting communities in the state. The lawmaker stated this when he visited Gunin Gora constituency in Chikun, local government, over the recent attacks and abduction of 13 residents in the area. Honorable Ekene, who condemned the abduction of over 250 school pupils in Kuriga and incessant attacks in the communities, donated items to both Christian and Muslims in the area. Also, the district head of Gunin Gora, Yusuf John, said the community has suffered a series of attacks in the past five years, noting that bandits are demanding huge ransom from victims and their families. I believe the government are doing everything humanly possible to see they go back to their family. And I assure them, by the special grace of God, they will surely return to their family soonest. You should always remain in peace, be calm, that they must not uh, take loss into their hands. Eh? They should understand that the government are doing everything money possible. They must not uh, allow the bad ones to come into them so that they could be able to take loss into their hands. They should always uh, uh, be law abiding to see what God has for us. And I believe something good is coming. What we want now is security. Let our people be peaceful. From the time of it, just come to my town, let our people use it. I don't even have what else. People from that terrain will all free my class. Until the morning, they will go back to the bath, who can eat. Once it is civilian life, the whole project, the main road, the people will be full. They will be full there to the capacity. They are running for the field. They are recording 40 trillion. For the 30 persons? Yes, for the 30 persons. 40 trillion. Uh, our budget is not even like that. 40 trillion. Uh, is it 11 kilos of sika and 150 that bikes? More than 40. People are living hand to mouth now. They are asking them to bring this future amount of money. Where do they get this money? Some of the victims of bandits' attacks shared their bitter experiences. And the men, they are, they are treated badly. We, the women and the children, at least we are a bit comfortable. They are tied to chains. They cannot move, they cannot move. Please help us. No matter what you can do, even if the military want to help us, whoever wants to help us, they should go silently, not making noise. Please. You know the pains we are feeling with our loved ones out there. I saw it, I went there, I saw it, and I came out. It was when he went, took my ransom, that they released me and one of my child, then they helped my last baby, and my husband and my husband's neighbor. And here, yeah, everywhere, yeah, caught everywhere, all, all over my body. I have five members of my family presently down with the kidnappers. There are six, but by the grace of God, the security personnel and um, some of the soldier people, they came that very night. I appreciate their effort, they did very well. As they came, they rescue my child. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.